Cardiovascular disease is the leading global cause of death, accounting for 17.3 million deaths per year. When a patient needs heart valve replacement, basically uh, they have two options, which are biological valves and mechanical valves. The main drawback from uh, mechanical valves is that the patient needs a permanent anticoagulation uh, for the rest of his life. That means that he needs to go to a, a lab every month just to check if his blood is really thin enough and protecting him for having thromboembolic event and not strong enough uh, to have a, a bleeding uh, event. So that impacts the quality of life of those patients. On the other hand, biological valves give a better quality of life for the patients. Uh, however, they don't last forever. Established in 2006, Tissue Regenics is a leading medical devices company in the field of regenerative medicine. Tissue Regenics is a regenerative medical device company. Uh, we're based in the UK. Um, we are developing a range of uh, D-cell, decellularized devices, which essentially look to replace damaged or diseased tissue uh, with a scaffold that regenerates inside the patient. D-cell is a novel, safe, and cost-effective treatment for chronic conditions. It allows the patient's own cells to build upon the scaffold and regenerate like-for-like -like tissue without the risk of rejection. D-cell is the core technology, the patented technology that Tissue Regenics is commercializing. And essentially that's a way of taking uh, tissue, be it animal tissue or human tissue, uh, removing the cells, removing the DNA, removing all the things that the patient's body might reject when it was implanted into them, um, and providing it with essentially a blank canvas. So for once it's put into the body, um, the patient's own cells re-infiltrate that and it becomes a living piece of tissue with the patient's own cells in it. So essentially what we're providing is, is a long-term living repair for the patient rather than a piece of metal or plastic, which is where uh, technology has been for the last 30 or 40 years. When you implant a homograft, which is a human valve, normally tissue banks are still using cryopreserved allografts. Cryopreserved allografts comes with the donor cells, which are immunogenic, causes some kind of immune reaction, which has impact on the durability of these allografts. If you decellularize a tissue, you take all the cells out, you're only left with the extracellular matrix, which is immunologically inert, and we have proved that in, in patients already. So what happens is that those decellularized allografts, they are much better incorporated by the host, and the durability will be longer. We could even see that the patient's own cells will repopulate that graft, making it a kind of a living graft. When the physicians start to implant uh, these kind of valves, they were very happy with the results. And what's good is that we don't need to use uh, liquid nitrogen freezers anymore, and we don't need cryo shippers anymore. With the D-cell, you know the size of the valve, you know the length of the valve, and the valve is ready to use. So a big advantage of the D-cell is that you don't have to defrost. So uh, you can shorten the operation time, and more importantly, you can shorten a uh, cross-clamp time, which is the time where the heart needs to be protected. So every five minutes or every 10 minutes is important at the end of the operation. When the doctor told me I would have to go through surgery, I was really scared because I've never been through any kind of surgery, always had a healthy and calm life. So I got scared, scared especially because I didn't have any symptoms. After I had the procedure, I felt a lot better. I knew I was fine, that I could get pregnant. That was what I wanted the most, and to have a good life with my son. Currently, this technology is being used in the treatment of pediatric heart valve disease in Brazil. In Brazil, uh, unfortunately, we still have a lot of rheumatic valve disease, so we still have many patients needing a, a aortic valve or pulmonary valve replacement or mitral valve uh, at very young stage in their lives. And more importantly, patients who had operations for congenital heart disease at a very early age in their lives. They are coming back needing a valve replacement when they are 20s or 30s. So the D-cell technology will be amazing for those patients. 
If you look at the kids who received the heart valves in Brazil, they've been implanted in children and they've allowed those children to develop and grow normally, uh, have active lives, do all the things that kids want to do, but they've gone from kids who are one year old to now 10 years old or 11 years old, and those valves have developed with them. That to me is the ultimate power of this technology. D-cell has the capacity to adapt, grow, regenerate, do all the things you'd expect your own body to do, but we're just providing uh, a scaffold that allows their own, the patient's own cells to do all those things. To date, more than 500 children in Brazil have received a D-cell heart valve, allowing them to return to a normal quality of life. I like to play with my sister, play games, play with my friends. I like to play dolls with my sister. I like the ballet with my friends. It's really fun. With this treatment and the surgery, it allowed me to run more, attend gym class, jump on the trampoline, which I couldn't do much before. I also feel a lot less tired. Patients want to have a normal life and be free of reoperations. And if you can use a decelerated allograft, which now we, we, we have been seeing through uh, many of the uh, echo studies and CT scans that these valves are performing better, I think in most of those cases, the operation will last much longer because of these technologies. As the years go by, I feel more confident that I can do things like everyone, and I am not different. I feel more comfortable after the surgery and the treatment. I'd like to say to other women who might be in the same situation as me, who have the dream of getting pregnant and also have this problem too, absolutely see if you are a candidate for this procedure, because you will have a new chance at life. So my advice is to ask your doctor and get the procedure. The D-cell technology uh, can basically be used to replace any diseased or damaged piece of soft tissue. So that goes from uh, wound care, for instance, the product we launched in the United States, Dermapure, is to treat chronic wounds, uh, diabetic foot ulcers, venous leg ulcers, uh, a massive problem, a $1.4 billion market in the United States alone. And we're also using it to treat sports medicine injuries. So we have products that basically address injuries of the knee. So um, NFL players, for instance, they're always busting their anterior cruciate ligaments, their ACLs, uh, and we've just literally started a clinical trial in Europe that seeks to provide a natural regenerative replacement for those types of injuries. So from a uh, perspective of, you know, what can it do, it's more important to say what can't it do. D-cell's not about future stuff that's going to be around in 15 years' time, it's about products that are available now. And uh, in the case of the patients in Brazil who've received the decellularized heart valves, uh, we've got very real evidence. We now have 10-year data that supports the use of those, those uh, products in the types of patients that they've been used in. So um, it's not just a wish list. It's not just a technology, a future technology. It's technology that's available now. It's being used with, with real people solving real problems. For more information, visit www dot tissue regenics dot com. <laughs>